Hello and greetings my fellow Lundarkians. And today we're going to be talking about uh, patch notes for point two four three. Oh, and the big phenomenon of, uh, you know, uh, Hinterland getting into uh, Xbox One preview program. Yeah, Long Dark along with Lee Dangerous will be launching that program on the Xbox. Oh, quite something, I gotta say. Uh, very awesome stuff. So now console players will be able to play that on Xbox. Uh, 1999 actually do they do have the free to try program so you can actually try out the long dark for an hour on xbox uh if you're still inclined to try that out it's uh, give it an hour i'm telling you it's gonna it's gonna be a great game uh yeah first kind of nice survival type game of this genre coming to a console finally uh i think it's pr I met pretty well i mean uh just along from the just the twitch uh viewers i've seen uh yeah i've been pretty excited about it but i do apologize yeah this is about a day late uh, just, uh, E3, I've been rather busy. E3's been kept me pretty busy. Uh, and then the Xbox announcement, uh, it's been kind of a whirlwind, you know? It's just, uh, craziness, but let's go through the patch notes here. So one thing you will notice right away, controller support, controller support, look at this. Uh, that's what the big update is about. You know, not everybody's happy, everybody wants more maps, more content, etc. But, uh, this is, I think it was worth it. Uh, I definitely think it was worth it. Uh, to me anyway, because, like I said, I have about, a. Uh, it's ranging up on close to 700 hours of gameplay, and, uh, <laughs> gonna develop carpal tunnel soon here, but this controller makes everything a lot easier. My aim is actually improved also, uh, with the bow and the rifle considerably. But yeah, let's get into that. I right, first thing I have, the game now can support full controller play, which is really nice. I did actually, you know, buy that on, I streamed it, uh, Monday. I streamed that on the Xbox. Uh, only thing, I do have a video comparing the two. Uh, one thing I noticed was severe load time uh, difference. Like here, you got about a second or two. Uh, about probably at least double that, if not a little more on the Xbox. But I think that's just a hardware issue. I'm running this game in solid state drive, so it's a little bit faster, of course. Uh, they did do widespread environment art fixes to address popping in performance. So you should see even better performance uh, than before. Uh, they did do wolf retexturing. The wolves look a lot different, as you'll see in my various videos and stuff coming up. Uh, they did fix the big issue with the cabins disappearing. Uh, then also the big, you know, thing I was going on about this, but nobody else seemed to notice that. Uh, the shadows were popping in and out, uh, the terrain shadows. Uh, that is also fixed. Uh, they fixed an issue with sometimes the curing getting reset when in-game process, uh, progress curing items were picked up. And they fixed the voices. I didn't actually see the experience this bug, but sometimes the voices would switch from uh, male to female, female to male uh, after loading a save game. And the bed rolls are now repairable again, so that is a nice thing. Uh, and more uh, audio bu a body bug was fixed, but the wildlife corpses would persist. Pill bottles, uh, only having one pill in the starting inventory, that was another thing that they did fix. Uh, carcass harvesting issue, but canceling that that got that fixed. And now the bow is also degradable. Not repairable, but it is degradable, so. Uh, watch me using the bow. That's definitely going to, uh, be an issue. I can show that here. I did actually already craft a bow. Yeah, down to 84%. I did mess around a little bit with the bow. Unfortunately. Yeah, trying out the new, trying to get a feel for it with, uh, just the aiming and everything. Uh, they did improve the object pickup radius to make small items easier to interact with, which is actually kind of nice since you're using the controller. It's not quite as precise uh, as, you know, the keyboard and mouse, but I think it's definitely uh, nice stuff. They did remove the daily decay rate from the harvested zaplings. Oh, so that's kind of nice. Uh, so you have to watch out if you're holding onto that. You can't cure that quite yet. Uh, that is also pretty nice. And we're going to talk for here for a second. Uh, what's my time? I'm going to go uh, temp about 4 degrees. I'm probably just going to go harvest some wood. We'll, talk, we'll sit here and talk. Uh, talking about the interview uh, with uh, Raph, CEO of Hinterland, with Joystick uh, yesterday. We'll talk about that. Uh, yeah, quite a couple of uh, good things to know out of that. Uh, end, uh, game's going to be finished by the end of the year. I'm not sure how many maps we're going to consider the finish, because I'm not sure how many maps we're going to be able to get in. Uh, well, sandbox mode, obviously, 
because uh, by the end of the year, oh, they promised seven to t about seven to ten more maps in sandbox mode. I don't think that's got that's gonna be where the end game is gonna sit. I mean, there's gonna definitely come stuff after, uh, but the episodic, uh, the first season of that will be done by the end of the year, and that's really gonna be the main thing you want to pay attention to. Uh, yeah, there's gonna be uh, places uh, maps not in. Areas not in uh, sandbox mode that will be in story mode. So, whoa, Blizzard, let's get inside here. Ah, so that's going to be something uh, definitely amazing. Definitely amazing. Okay, let's drop this here. Drop all of that. Yeah, it just feels, you know, I can say about 700 hours of keyboard and mouse. Uh, I've adapted rather quickly to this. It feels pretty good. I don't think I'm going to go back uh, keyboard and mouse. Just because I do a lot of long, dark marathons and stuff, 24 hour plus. Uh, we do have a marathon coming up. Oh, uh, let's look at the date here. Oh, yes, uh, 26th to the 27th of uh, June. Uh, probably start about 9 a.m. Central Daylight Time. A 24 hour plus marathon for charity. I'll be doing a charity run on Twitch. Uh, it's going to be awesome stuff. Definitely going to use a controller because uh, at the end of these long runs, like, like, my hands are almost literally bleeding by the end of uh, playing Long Dark that long. Oh, uh, yeah. And actually, also, another announcement I'll be doing. I'm actually going to be launching, because that's something I haven't done before. Uh, it's just something I'm planning for a while. But uh, with the Xbox players coming into the community, I'm going to be launching uh, video tutorials for uh, the Long Dark. And I, have, I have a big Steam guide that's done rather well. But I will be launching a set of uh, for the middle of starter players. Uh, in the next couple days, I will be launching videos for that. Uh, basic tutorials, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to survive in Long Dark. And then we'll go do advanced tutorials, uh, teach you really extend your survival time. Uh, but that's everything for uh, in point two four three for right now, guys. Uh, big excitement in the Long Dark community. Get hyped for that. Story mode by the end of the year. We've got full controller support. Uh, be sure to welcome our Xbox brothers. Uh, definitely something awesome. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe as always, and I will see you in the next video. I should go. Just because I can drill you between the eyes at 100 meters doesn't mean I can't like sensitive stuff. Spit it out. Or are you trying to build suspense? What can I do for you?